What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. Today's video is the full review of the Logitech Create iPad keyboard case. Welcome back, and before we begin the review portion of the video, let's take a closer look at the case. The front of the case, when closed, completely protects the screen on the iPad Pro. Along the bottom, we have access to both speakers as well as our lightning port. On the top, our power sleep wake button is completely covered. We have access to our other two speakers, as well as our 3.5mm headphone jack. Along the right side, we have a cutout for our microphone, and our volume up and down buttons are completely covered, yet remain extremely tactile. Located in the interior portion of the case is an extremely well-built keyboard. On the back of the case, we have a cutout for our microphone, as well as our rear eyesight camera. Now that we've gotten more familiar with the case, let's start the review portion of the video. First, I'm going to start off with the things that I don't like about the case, and then we'll get into the things that I do like. The first thing that I don't like is the price. The Logitech Create costs $149 before taxes, and to me that's too expensive for a keyboard case, and I would like to see the case priced around $100. The keyboard is excellent and the case provides full protection for the iPad Pro, however I don't like the price. The next thing that I don't like is how much bulk the case adds to the device. The case provides coverage for the iPad Pro, however it's rather bulky as well as heavy with a width of 9.05 inches and weighs 725 grams. With the case closed, the device ends up being just as thick as my Retina MacBook Pro, and I've never felt compelled to purchase a keyboard case ever from my iPad. However, in this situation, where the iPad Pro screen size is definitely a major factor, I feel the keyboard is a must. So, although the keyboard is excellent, and you can expect some added bulk when adding a full keyboard, the added bulk is something that I don't like. The next thing that I don't like is how hard the case is to take off. Producing a case for a device means the case needs to serve the purpose of the case, which is usually protection. However, manufacturers need to also take into consideration the install and uninstall process. Although it looks like the case is barely attached to the iPad Pro, it's extremely difficult to remove. Most manufacturers make a case with the thought in mind that once you install the case on your device, that you're not going to take it off. But realistically, people change their cases often or want to take the case off to clean the device, so I definitely don't like how difficult the case is to remove. The next thing that I don't like is there's only one viewing angle. The angle that the case supplies natively is satisfactory when typing and consuming media on a desk or flat surface. However, I find myself wanting to adjust the screen when typing on my lap. The next thing that I don't like is there's no place to store your Apple Pencil. Every case manufacturer should take into consideration that people are going to be carrying the Apple Pencil around and it just makes it more convenient to have a holder or specific place for your Apple Pencil, similar to the UAG Scout case for the iPad Pro, which I did cover here on the channel. We'll have that video linked down below. So Logitech, if you're watching, add a specific location on the case for the Apple Pencil in the second version of the case. Now that we've covered everything that I don't like, let's talk about the things that I do like. The first thing that I like about the case is the keyboard. The Logitech Create features an excellent keyboard with backlit keys and dedicated buttons for iOS shortcuts. The keyboard is a chiclet style keyboard with reasonable key travel. The next thing that I like is that the keyboard connects to the iPad Pro via the smart connector. This allows the keyboard to never need to be charged as the iPad Pro completely powers the keyboard itself. This also means no need to pair the keyboard via Bluetooth. The keyboard also features iOS shortcuts via the top row of keys. The shortcuts include home, screen brightness adjustment, search, language switch, keyboard backlighting adjustment, media controls, volume controls, and iPad on and off sleep wake. So again, the case features an excellent keyboard. The next thing that I like is the case provides full protection for the iPad Pro. The back of the case features a cutout for the microphone and rear eyesight camera, but other than that, the back of the iPad Pro is fully protected. The case features a very high quality water resistant fabric that adds a nice amount of grip to a normally slippery device. The case also features a smart cover that's made out of the same water resistant fabric on the exterior and the interior features a soft microfiber material with a line across the upper section lined with very soft rubber to ensure no scratches on the iPad Pro. The smart cover features sleep wake functionality and the material seems durable enough to last for the entire life of your device. The next thing that I like is how sturdy the case is when typing on your lap. The added bulk the case provides actually provides a more secure stance on your lap when doing lap typing. This was a feature that I was really looking for in a keyboard case as I'll be doing a lot of lap typing. The case is securely attached to the iPad Pro via the smart connector and that along with the thickness of the keyboard make for a very stable typing experience. The case is extremely stable when pushing on and interacting with the touch screen which is quite surprising as I've heard is a big downside to using the Apple smart keyboard 
which I will be comparing to this case in a video very soon. The next thing that I like is the peace of mind that the case provides when placed in a backpack or other book bag. I would never place my iPad Pro without a protective case into a school bag with other books due to the fear of scratching or even bending of the device. I wouldn't even feel comfortable placing it into a school bag or a backpack with other items in it with Apple's smart keyboard even if I had the silicone back. However, the Logitech Create seems like it was made for placing in a backpack or book bag. I never feel like I'm going to break the iPad Pro if I happen to place the bag down too hard, nor do I feel like I have to take extra caution in general when carrying the bag. Now that we've discussed in further detail the things that I do and don't like about the case, here's my final thoughts. Logitech worked closely with Apple on developing this case and it shows from everything from the smart connector connection to the dedicated row of iOS shortcut keys. The case provides excellent protection and daily use, as well as if you plan to travel with your iPad Pro and you plan on carrying in the device in a backpack or book bag. The case provides a very nice lap typing experience, which to me is extremely important. The case helps provide the full experience that the iPad Pro can produce. I would have liked to see a designated spot for the Apple Pencil, and I would also like to see the case priced around $100. I'm going to be doing an in-depth versus and comparison video between this case and the Apple Smart Keyboard so I can let you know which particular keyboard case you should purchase, so be sure you're subscribed to catch all the coverage. With that being said, I'm going to give this case a solid 9 out of 10, with the case not being a complete 10 due to the reasons that I stated in the beginning of the video. And I highly recommend this case to everyone out there. If you have any questions about the case that I didn't answer in the video, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section and I'll try to answer them. The product purchase link will also be down below if you're interested in purchasing the Logitech Create case for your Apple iPad Pro. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for me in this video. If you're interested in further information, pricing, and availability, all relevant links will be located down in the video description. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to hit that subscribe button and you will be notified in your inbox every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to drop a like down below and leave a comment down in the comment section. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.